This video will demonstrate how easy it is to replace a display module on HP 4155A and HP 4156A semiconductor parameter analyzers. Uh, and with minor variations, uh, this procedure applies to many other HP and Agilent instruments that use part number 2090-0210 color display module, which uh, you can purchase from Equiptech Labs uh, with one year warranty. First, uh, let's get the tools we need for the job. You need Phillips number two screwdriver and possibly a torque number 15. Uh, some analyzers of a newer vintage use torque screws. In my case, uh, the, all the screws are Phillips, so I'm not going to be using T15, uh, but keep in mind that uh, you might have to use both Phillips and uh, torque screwdriver to open your analyzer. Let's unplug the analyzer. The good place to do this uh, procedure is a long table where there is plenty of room so when you open the front panel it doesn't fall off the table. Um, I'm going to use a card but I strongly recommend you use something longer than what you see in this video. Uh, let's uh, begin by removing the screws from the bottom of the analyzer. These screws hold the front panel in place. There are four screws on the bottom. And we remove all four. Let's set now analyzer back on its bottom feet. Now you may have these two plastic feet installed on the back of your analyzer. If they are there, you need to remove them. Each uh, foot ha is uh, held in place by a Phillips screw. A screw doesn't fall out, though, so don't start looking for the screw. It stays in the foot once it's removed. Okay, there are several more screws to be removed in order to release the front panel. First, we need to remove the plastic trim on the top, and you can just pry it with a nail or small flat blade screwdriver and once we remove that we can see two screws that we need to take off okay now there are two more screws on each side of the analyzer that are hidden by the plastic trim. So let's peel the trim off. It's just a sticky tape. Make sure to keep it clean so you can put it back on uh, in place. So there are two screws and we remove both. Okay, same procedure on another side. Peel the trim, place it with a sticky side up and remove the two screws. This is the last screw that holds the panel in place but the panel still doesn't come out because there is a little plastic latch right here and uh, until you push on that latch the front panel wouldn't come off. I recommend you remove the top cover first before removing front panel and I'll show you in a second why. Top cover just moves back a little bit and the screw stays with the top cover. So once the front of the top cover clears the bezel you can just lift it up. Now when you reinstall the top cover make sure the edge of the top cover goes into the groove at the back of the bezel. It's very important because if you're going to start uh, tightening the screw when the uh, edge is not aligned with the gap, you can strip the screw and there will be a lot of trouble. So pay attention to the edge of the top cover when you install, install it after replacing the display. Okay, now we're ready to 
take the front panel off. Um, again, I use a cart which doesn't have enough space really uh, for to hold the front panel. I do not recommend you do it the same way. Find some suitable table or a cart that has more room in the front so you can lay the front panel down safely. So push on the latch and with your finger from the back push forward and the front panel comes out very easily. Okay, now you lay it flat. You can un unplug the front panel but it's really not necessary. Now you're ready to remove the four screws that hold the display in place. But first let's just disconnect the display from the analyzer. It's just one IDC ribbon cable connector. Okay, now display is disconnected and we remove the screws. Now with screws gone, all you need to do is to push the display a little bit from the back and hold your hand in the front to make sure it doesn't pop out and damage your front panel. So just push on it from the back and usually it's very easy to take out. See I cannot take it out completely because my front panel is in the way. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move it out a little bit more and take the display out. This is your old display. Obviously if you have replacement display it will be exactly the same, only brighter and you just insert it back and put reconnect the connector. Then you can put back the screws for the display put the front panel back in place, make sure floppy drive goes into the opening. Usually it uh, takes minimum effort to put the front panel play in place. Put all the screws back, install back the trim on the sides and on the top, okay, and reinstall the top cover. And after that you can put the feet back uh, if you had them to begin with. So after you're done hopefully you won't have any screws left in your bin and that would be a good sign that you put everything where it belongs and uh, you will be enjoying your new bright display uh, for many years to come. Thank you for watching.